What do you do, Pete? I really like. What's that? What do you do in the band? I'm just supposed to run and get cornbread beers. And I make a lot of noise. So, Myron, what do you do in the band? Run around. <laughs> run into cornbread. Pick up then holes. yell. I play, I play guitar and I sing. <laughs> I uh, argue with Myron about who's doing more work. I call Scott every day asking him when this album's gonna be done. Yeah. Be prepared. The end is coming in May. Be prepared. We're about to let the party out of our heads. <laughs> have... The Workhorse Movement, uh, we got the name from uh, a book called The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. And uh, there was a society in there uh, that started out in San Francisco. Basically, they were just a group of free thinkers. They uh, just broke away from all the rules. And uh, they had this propaganda running through the streets. There were speakers blaring out, workhorse and intercourse, work hard, feel good. And uh, the name just kind of stuck, you know. I mean, it totally fit everything that we were trying to do musically, expansively everything. So. Work hard, feel good. We will keep the Sabbath dream alive by not falling into a rut. It's all about growth. This is the third album that we put out and it's as drastically different from the first two as you can imagine. The day that we write two albums back to back that sound the same is the day we probably quit doing this and go our separate ways. Take it as far as you can and build on it, just like we're trying to do. If it feels good, do it. If it doesn't, get the fuck away from it, right? If evil is having this much fun, I guess we're evil, but Definitely we ain't hurting nobody, we're helping people. We're trying to bring the happiness of rock back to the world. I think it rocks! Look, Joseph, the whole idea is to capture a moment of a band's progression. <laughs> You're capturing the moments, what was going on, and the way you felt. Uh, uh, motherfucker, wrong turf! It's fucking sweet. All right. That's cool. Molly Crew, Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin. Come on. Like all of them. Depends who you ask. A deja vu review. I want to do an Ozzy. If I could do to anybody, it would be Ozzy. Back when he was all fucking... Drug My goal is Hank Williams Sr. and Elvis Presley. Woo! They just exposed me to Elvis. Elvis was driving down the street and they fucking flashed him with me held, and like holding me up in the baby cage. Hey, look! Here's my boy! Watching Esham in the studio was the fucking shit. That let guy me, is the man in the studio. Yeah, let me. We ain't clutch cargoes. Just count down to the show. Let me let you know what time it is. Just so you did if, if you did know the cameraman on this, it's the stage show E Charminatis, along with the uh, workhorse movement. And uh, we gonna put this down tonight for D-Town, you know what I'm saying? Well, one day in the land of Goshen when I was churning butter, I saw this like foreign object go by. Later, I learned, later learned it was called a van, and I'm just like, man, that goes a lot faster than my horse. And it had a pretty good, you know, this there's this like thumping sound that came from. It was kind of attractive. I said, hey, that's kind of fun. I wonder what that stuff is. And at that point, it swerved off the road and kind of rolled a few times, and they just saw like beer bottles flying everywhere. And I'm just like, what the hell are you guys doing? See, I was, I was, I was a rebel in the land of Goshen. I would say words like hell.